I want to talk about two of the selection tools that are embedded with each other over here, the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool. So these are the fourth tools down on your toolbar. And you may see the quick selection tool first. And it's the one that kind of looks like a paintbrush with a dotted uh, curve coming out of it. So if you do, click on that one and then access the magic wand tool. That's the first one I'm going to talk about. The magic wand tool makes a selection based upon where you click and the tolerance that you have set in your options bar. So remember, all of your tools have default settings that can be changed based on the fields that are available to them in the options bar. So this tool, when you click on it, has a field for tolerance. The higher the number I have for tolerance, the wider the range of pixels it'll select. So if, for example, I put in a tolerance of 10, which is very low, and I click into the middle of my sky, I get a selection of pixels that are pretty close to the area in terms of color of where I originally selected. I'm going to do Control D to get rid of that selection. And now I'll move it up to 50, increase my tolerance, and click in about the same spot. And you can see much more of my sky is, collected, is selected. Control D. And let's try 75. And click over here. And now I get pretty much all of my sky. It's not exactly perfect, but it's pretty good for starting. Um, there's one little spot over here that I missed. So what I'd like to do is move up here to the options bar and switch my modes. I have four different modes for all of my selection tools. The first mode, the mode that you're in by default, is that every time you make a selection, it cancels out the last one and it always gives you a new one. So this time I clicked over into my into the road. I got rid of my sky collection. I'm going to go back, sky selection, sorry. I'm going to go back over here and I have my sky selection again. If I click in the next mode, I'm in the add to. So now whatever I click on is going to be added to my original selection instead of starting a new one. So that's how if I missed a little part of this guy, I could go back and try to get it. And the third mode here is the to remove from or the deselect or I guess it's called subtraction from selection. And I'm going to decrease my tolerance down to about 10 and let's see if I can deselect some of these trees that were included in my selection I don't want to be. So I could have a selection of just my sky. I'm not going to spend too long on it but you can kind of see now I'm using this tool to get rid of parts of my selection. So what I want is just to have the marching ants around my sky. And that's kind of good enough for right now. Um, now just to show you, so why would I want to have a selection? Well, as I've been talking about in other videos, I could copy and paste. But I could also go up to Image, Adjustment, and I could add one of these adjustments, like a, a photo filter and add one of these filters and you can see, I'll turn it off so you can go back here, the effect of adding one of these filters for example. I'll put in cyan and increase the density and that's going to only apply to the areas that are selected. So that can be kind of cool. And going back to the assignment that you had for your uh, the first week, the painted assignment, now if I take my paintbrush tool and I make my paintbrush very, very large, I can simply paint this whole sky in one swoop, which is also pretty cool. So that's the magic wand tool. Uh, it can be very useful. I'm going to just simply actually close out this image and not save anything and move on to the next image I have, which is called um, Frame Within a Frame. And I'm going to talk about the other selection tool, the quick selection tool. Quick selection is kind of similar, but instead of multiple clicks, I'm going to hold my mouse down and drag it, and it's going to select areas that are similar to the area that I'm sort of tracing or dragging out. Best way to understand it is simply to follow along. So here I have a kind of a small diameter. I'm going to increase the diameter of my selection tool. And my goal is to select the columns here. I'm going to click and drag, and as you can see, it's doing a pretty good job of just collecting or selecting the edges. And I, if it's not going all the way to the edges, I slowly nudge over and I'm going to go around. And at some point, it's probably going to take more than I want, but that's okay. I'll switch my modes to the deselection. And here I have the columns nicely selected, but it did select a bit of the sky that I didn't want. So I'm going to go up to my modes and I'm going to switch to the subtract from mode. 
and I'm going to go into the sky and subtract the sky parts that I don't want to be part of my selection. And now I have a really perfect selection of those columns I could copy and paste to put onto another document. Or I could go up to one of those adjustments I talked about and um, change something in my adjustments. I think, let me just see if I could add some color balance here to this image. And so, for example, I could add some color and it's only going to apply to those selections. So that's the uh, magic wand and quick selection tools. And don't forget that all of your selection tools have these modes that you can work in.